bandits are also our children too. President Mohamed Buhari replied Nigerians who are advising the federal government to use the Tokano jet to flush out all the bandits in northern Nigeria. <laughs> My people, you can imagine this. Bandits are also our children. <laughs> so that means they cannot be flushed out. Is there the reason why the insecurity in Nigeria cannot <laughs> be resolved so soon? It's not going to be, you know, so it's not going to be what we are thinking, what we are wishing, because the federal government are not seeing it that way. These people are terrorists, for goodness sake. They are not supposed to be pardoned. They are not supposed to be pampered. Why should we be doing that? Are they showing mercy to Nigerians? These are people who are killing Nigerians with ease, without mercy. These are people who have displaced millions of Nigerians. But why is the federal government, you know, taking bandits matter as if, what are they called? I'm still calling them bandits, the, the so-called terrorist issue as if they really cares for Nigerians? If you don't want to use a decisive action against these people, they will not stop this, their atrocities. You see, this is the reason why they continue to kidnap. This is the reason why they continue to kill because they know that the government is not serious. They are not serious about their activities. We are pampering those who are killing us. What of those who they have made uh, orphans, those who, are, who they have made widows, widowers, father, fatherless and, and motherless, whatsoever, whatever, those who they have made homeless. What is the government's plan concerning these people? Nigerians are angry with this government because of the way they are treating bandits. They are angry because the government, they are not actually doing the needful consigning this bandit issue. And it's not going to stop. Because they are not taking action against them. You bought Tokano, Tokano jet for what? You are not using it against the, the Boko Haram. You are not still using it on the bandits. So why are you wasting our money? Killing our innocent soldiers for nothing bandits are also our children that is the reason why they will come after killing they will come and tell you that they are not a repented so and they say they have laid down their, their guns and life good life will be given to them the government will feed them the government will pay them the government will give them scholarship. They will give them money to start up good uh, business or whatsoever. But we don't even consider those things they have done. We don't even consider those people who they have rendered, rendered their life you know, useless. Those ones do not bother, uh, uh, bother the government. But bandits, bandits. You know, when Nigerians are saying, you know, uh, proscribe this group as terrorists, this and this and this. I said it. And I'm saying it again. Is it by calling them terrorist group? Are they being treated as one? Are they being treated as one? The Nigerian government know all the hideouts. But they cannot go after them. They are raising best no to them. Now, you want to go after bandits. Why their sponsors are still there doing their work diligently? Who are those people who are sponsoring these people? You have their names. You cannot shame them. You cannot call them out. When Nigerian youths 
you know, this uh, during NSAS protests, when Nigerians youth came out in mass protesting about bad governance, protesting about the brutality, you know, by Nigerian police and all that. Those who sponsored those that um, a protest by maybe providing food or water or whatever, the government, it did not take them a minute to publish their names in social media. It was everywhere. It was everywhere. These people, they not kill. They not do anything. These are people who are saying, Frats, this is what we want you to do. We want this country to change for good. Nigerian government penalized them for that. They froze their account. Now, people who are sponsoring banditry, who are sponsoring Boko Haram in the country, they have their names, but they cannot shame them because they are parts of them. You cannot eat your own flesh. That is just what they are trying to tell us. You cannot eat your own flesh. Now, coming back to the Northerners, though the Northern elders, they just woke up from their slumber. They have asked President Muhammad Buhari to resign if he cannot tackle the issue of this banditry, you know, in the Northern region. You understand? But still, there are still people in the in northern region. They say they are called northern youths. They have tackled northern elders for saying President Muhammad Buhari to resign. According to them, they say President Muhammad Buhari is doing his best. He has taken steps in proscribing bandits as terrorists. That is doing his best. That those ones. They just want to cause confusion. You see, these are people who are being affected greatly in the north. They do not see what is going on in the northern uh, region as not normal. So how do you want this situation to end? Honestly, this is really very wrong. Bandits are our children. Hmm. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts with us. Thank you very much. Bye for now.